we all know toxic romantic relationships toxic relationships come in couple of sizes there are the super sized ones involving drug and alcohol dependence or violence we're not talking about those and they are the energy am vampires mid size self esteem sucking ones that's the one i'm talking about the ones that hurt and the ones that cloud our mind and our thoughts with negativity the monumental problem with this kind of toxic relationship really is that it's not always that bad in fact it's good some of the time until it becomes awful and hard to bear with and we don't have the tools we don't have the techniques on how to deal with the toxicity in our relationships whether you're a boyfriend or a girlfriend or you're married we all want to morph back into the prince and princesses who made us feel beautiful and loved and giddy on those first few dates the easiest way to be free of a toxic relationship is first to learn how to avoid them in the first place number 1 know your attachment style here's a gentle reminder your toxic relationship needs some raw material to work with as hard as it is to imagine you've been cooperating with your inner addict all along and here's a crazy thing about love it's a blueprint drawn before you were verbal and if your early life attachments were unhappy you'll spend your adult life trying to make repairs to a broken system and i understand well that it is so hard our romantic adult attachment styles remain like a silent manipulator until we do the work the self work and this could mean going for therapy personal counseling self reflection journaling to really understand what attracted us to this mr miss toxic in the first place number 2 speak your truth when you begin to learn your attachment style whether it's your irrational fears your insecurities your intimacy avoidance behaviors or this push and pull that we all do you'll also learn to become acutely aware of your personal roller coaster of feelings but just as important it is to identify those feelings and to be able to communicate them it is very important that you understand it's okay to be vulnerable in a relationship but you need to explain why it would be helpful to receive let's say regular text or check in with each other until you feel more secure in your relationship this is literally the opposite of game playing you'll understand that you control the pace of a early relationship and that your emotional needs are valid two red flags means stop Therapy and emotional honesty won't necessarily make you happy but these things will make you real if you're truly relating in an authentic open vulnerable space with your partner you have to know that you don't have to be dismissive you don't have to allow your partner to be rejecting towards you this is a red flag you must be brave and move away this isn't an indication that you are unlovable This is a simply a confirmation that the two of you are a mismatch and the game of finding a secure relationship is the game of elimination. Be real, be authentic, be honest and the right person will come your way. Fourth, dust off. Dust off, grow and begin again and this is what I tell everybody. There is always always an opportunity for you to start over again and it's true for you, it's true for me, it's true for everyone. There's a story about the four stages of personal growth. Stage 1 is you're walking down the street, you don't see a hole and you fall in it. In the second stage, you see the hole and you still fall in it. At the third stage, you finally recognize the hole and you carefully walk around it. Finally in stage 4 you take a different street every toxic relationship is an opportunity for you to examine the whole and to choose a different path because you have the choice the best kept secret of people who have a secure attachment style is that they move away early on from people who don't meet their emotional needs who don't serve them anymore and that's a brave move for people who are longing to feel loved i understand completely The most important question to ask yourself is am i in love or simply addicted to longing if the latter is your answer it's time to move on heal and grow